Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I'm going to show you how to create a matte look in your photo using Photoshop. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is come down to the bottom <clears throat> right hand side, and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to choose the curves layer. From here, my curve will pop up, and we're going to be working with this line. We're going to start with the point that's at the very bottom left. I'm just going to click on that and while I have it uh, held down, I'm going to drag it straight up. And you can see as I move it up, it gets more or less intense. So you're just going to want to bring that point to an area where you think it's going to look good. And don't worry because you can always change it later if you'd like to. So I'm going to put mine right about there. The second thing I'm going to do is create another point on this line. So I'm going to go up just a little bit and I'm going to left click and this time I'm going to drag it down. So I'm going to bring that point down and you can see it gets more and more intense the farther down I bring it. Um, I don't want it quite that intense so I might leave it right about there. And you can change this later if you'd like to. The third thing is you're going to put one more point on this line. So we're going to come up the line a little bit more, click to create another point and hold that, that click down. And this time I'm going to drag the line up. And you can see the, the higher up, the more intense. It's a little too much there. Um, and if you just do it slightly, you get a more slight matte look. And I'm going to leave it right like that. Now that is one way that you can create a matte look. Now I'm going to turn that curves layer off right now because I'm going to show you one other way that you can create a matte look. And you can see if we put it back on and off, we've got a nice easy matte look. The next way is we're going to create another adjustment layer. So I'm going to come down. This time I'm going to choose solid color. And when I do that, we have a solid color that pops up. I'm not going to choose red. Um, we're going to choose like a dark gray. So you might want to click around and the color or shade of gray you choose can um, have an effect on the photo. So you might want to do this with a couple different color of grays. I'm going to choose this one right here and click OK. Then I'm going to change my blending mode. So right now it's on normal. I'm going to drop down and change that to overlay. And um, that gives us a nice, super intense matte look there. Um, I don't necessarily love it quite that intense. So what I'm going to do is just with that layer selected, come up to where it says opacity and I'm going to decrease that. And you can see as I keep decreasing the opacity of that layer, um, the intensity of that matte look gets less and less and I can drag it to um, to an area where I like that. And I think right about at 55%, that looks good on this photo. So I'm gonna leave it right there like that. And there you go. That's two different ways that you can create a matte look using Photoshop. If you were a little confused through this tutorial, you can click the link below and I have the written instructions there for you, as well as one other way that you can create a matte look in Photoshop. So if you'd like to check that out, it's right below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll be adding lots more photography tips and tutorials uh, throughout the months to come. Thanks for watching.